first flip. It's heavy, man. I'm nervous. And I've never really seen him quite like this. <laughs> he spent day and night out here trying to get this chainsaw thing. I don't know if you can hear him grunting. What is up, everybody? Welcome to another video with Jake and Josh, except that Jake isn't here. So just with Josh today. Um, as you guys know, we got new videos coming every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, because we do pretty awesome stuff, including a world record every single Wednesday. Speaking of world records, I'm flying out in just a few days to do a video shoot with Guinness World Records and Whistle Sports, and I'm going to be attempting to break two chainsaw juggling world records, which is pretty awesome. The only problem with that is I don't have a chainsaw and I've never juggled chainsaws before. So I need to go buy a chainsaw and then learn how. That's what today's video is about. Uh, not a world record yet, but soon, hopefully, I will possess not only a chainsaw, but the skill to juggle one. Uh, so I'm off to go buy the chainsaw and then later we'll need to construct it, make it juggleable. So I was actually here yesterday to kind of check out the selection and I think I'm going this one right here. But here's the thing, this one is only $179, but the blade is really long and it is 8.6 pounds. It's $350, 7.2 pounds, and you can put an even smaller blade on it, which definitely makes it more juggleable. So I really didn't want to spend this much money, but I think I'm gonna drop $350 just to buy this chainsaw. I didn't know these were a thing, but maybe I need to invest in chainsaw pants. a chainsaw. Oh yeah, now I just gotta not kill myself. That's step two. Alright, we got the chainsaw, the chaps, some gas. Uh, well, that ended up being way more money than I originally planned. I was thinking the chainsaw itself would be like $200 and then ended up spending $500 total. So now is probably a good time to mention a couple things. One, patreon.com slash jugglingjosh. You can become a patron and support this channel. A lot of people think that YouTubers are all making thousands, tens of thousands, millions of dollars. Some big ones are. Uh, Jake and I are, are not. <laughs> But we're in the, headed in the right direction to make this our full-time job, which is our goal and our dream. Uh, but you can help us get there by supporting us on Patreon. Uh, basically, you sign up and you can get rewards depending on what level you sign up for. Rewards include juggling stuff, uh, Josh Horton t-shirts, online juggling lessons with me, uh, and more, so make sure you check it out. Also, jugglingwarehouse.com if you just wanna buy some juggling stuff, more merch coming soon, including the Josh Horton signature juggling balls. So thanks again, we love you guys. Now, back to it, uh, we got a chainsaw. I'm a proud owner of a chainsaw. You can't juggle it the way it is now. We need to attach a handle. I'm not that handy, so I'm gonna hit up my friend Daniel and we're gonna get this thing put together. Daniel, I think this is way too long to be the handle. <laughs> We're at Lowe's, um, figuring out how to attach a handle to my chainsaw. I am not the handiest person in the world. I'm good at juggling and um, uh, so I needed to ask someone else for some help. This is Daniel. Daniel has been in a video a long time ago. He's also Joel's brother. You guys have seen Joel a little bit recently and Daniel is the manliest person I know and super handy so he's figuring this out. I'm good at that though. We have everything we need. All right, we are now in the shop. Here's my chainsaw. We have already started taking it apart. What's that? Do you feel a really epic manly montage coming? Oh!
just this is heavy, so um, I'm getting a little nervous. Just this is actually quite heavy, <laughs> with no chainsaw on it. <laughs> First flip, it's heavy, man. I'm nervous. Here we go. Oh, gosh. <laughs> All right. Well, it flips, but I about pulled my shoulder out of my socket. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yikes. It's heavy. All right, it is complete. I'm way more nervous than I was before just the weight of it is pretty serious. So I don't know if this world record's gonna happen. Thank you, Daniel. No problem. All right, I'm gonna take this and go home. Have fun trimming your toenails. <laughs> Okay, so it's been a couple days since Josh uh, first bought the chainsaw, and I've never really seen him quite like this. He just, uh, just, oh, let me just show you. He spent day and night out here trying to get this chainsaw thing. I don't know if you can hear him grunting, but that keeps the neighbors awake. Poor guy is is going crazy. I think let's go let's go ask him some questions and make sure he's doing okay. Josh, how you doing? Everything all right at home? Yeah, we're good. Guys, this thing is a beast. What's frustrating is I was like waiting to uh, waiting to buy my chainsaw until I got my requirements from Guinness World Records because they send your like once you apply for a record they send you all the specifics which they don't, they don't just tell you on the website and the minimum weight for a chainsaw is five pounds according to their rules. Mine is about 15 pounds, so it's three times the minimum weight and it is quite the workout. My, my forearms have just been burning for like 48 hours straight. Uh, I didn't film any of my first attempts, I probably should have, um, but I was really nervous about it. So now I can finally get it going. I, I, every catch, there needs to be such a swing to it, I can't just juggle normal height. So I need to be throwing the balls really high in time for me to uh, catch the thing. Oh, whoa. But it's still kind of awkward. Feeling pretty good. I was nervous. Uh, I still haven't juggled it on. Um, and maybe this is just a good reason to get you guys to subscribe. If you want to see me juggle this chainsaw on, make sure you subscribe because we got new videos coming soon. Um, but I think I can break the record. Uh, and once I get it going, it's heavy and I kind of have to scream like a tennis player or something with every throw. Mm. But. I can get it going for a while. Oh, just kidding. Ah, oh, Sharapova. Ugh. There it is, Venus. So, feeling pretty good about it. So, the record is 208 catches. Which I think I can do, and then the other record is longest distance to travel and it's just 91 feet. So that's just like a little less than a full court basketball court. So walk and do that, which I'm feeling pretty good about. Okay, and would you mind addressing everything we got going on down here as well? Yeah, so the chainsaw records, those are just two of the potentially eight, maybe six, they're not sure how many they're gonna let me do, um, but six or eight records I'm gonna be attempting, uh, but those are just two of the records. So I'm doing a basketball juggling record, I'm doing a soccer ball juggling record, I'm doing a balloon record, flashback. Gonna make that one official. And uh, here's a, a new one, this was another one. I leave tomorrow for this shoot, and I bought these about 20 minutes ago, uh, and just wrapped them up so I can t test them this was another one I was waiting to get my requirements from Guinness World Records because I have some samurai swords if you guys have seen um, but their requirements for the record of most samurai swords juggled is a 26 inch blade which is that long and so it is very difficult Jake you haven't seen this yet I have not so be, get ready okay so I put one here get three going Oh, fancy. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Those are humongous. <laughs> world record, so it is just the world record for most samurai swords juggled, so I just need to do eight catches of 
four samurai swords. So that one's pretty much in the bag. And uh, those are axes. I also bought those recently. I juggled axes in the past, uh, but received the rules from Guinness World Records and they needed to be three pounds or heavier. So I had to go get some brand new ones. These are 3.3 pounds. The crazy thing about this one is this record is, I believe, 580 catches, which is a lot and is a workout. So I've been practicing this one a little bit, but I think I'm just gonna need the adrenaline and probably gonna keep this one to the very end of the shoot and just use all remaining energy and calories in this last, this last record because it's gonna be a long one. Out of all of them, which one are you feeling the best about? Which one are you feeling the worst about? Um, Samurai Swords is actually feeling pretty good. Uh, the basketball record, the soccer record, those are feeling good. Balloons, uh, so feeling good about all of those. I'm still nervous about the chainsaw, and I'm actually kind of nervous about this one because I don't know if I can actually just go that long because they are still pretty heavy. They're easy to juggle, so this, again, several of these records are not as much about the juggling skill as it is like arm strength and stamina, so as long as I can do this for 500 whatever catches, I'm good. Uh, there'll be more of them, just not just one. Ah. Okay, I guess last question is, is TSA cool with you traveling with a bunch of weapons? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I do it all the time. I've never flown with a chainsaw before, but any kind of blade is fine, so that should be fine too. And if you're checking it. You can check, any, I mean, you can check a gun. Yeah. So I'm sure you can check anything. On second thought though, maybe like a quick Google search is like, I don't know, worth our time just to make sure you can actually get to New York with all this? I, I know several jugglers that juggle chainsaws who travel. I'm sure you're allowed to do it. I think, I, I'm just saying, I think it's worth a Google search. All right, just Googled, first time I ever Googled, can I bring a chainsaw on an airplane? Probably not that many people that bring it, but here's TSA. <laughs> well, engine powered equipment with residual fuel. In parentheses, chainsaws, generators, trim oh, wow. trimmers. Oh, wow. They is spell not, out. Not allowed in carry on or check baggage. Is there a way to get the fuel to not be residual? For carry on, this is for check baggage. It says no and no. <laughs> Gosh. Well. Now you have a chainsaw. Now I have a chainsaw. All right, so I'll be attempting six records tomorrow. Should people watching still subscribe though, you think? People watching should definitely still subscribe. I promise I will juggle that chainsaw while it's running very soon in a video, but probably not this Wednesday now. Um, but I do leave tomorrow. I will still be attempting a bunch of world records with a Guinness World Records adjudicator present. I'm gonna look into FedEx overnighting the chainsaw, but it might not happen, which is a bummer. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we've got new videos coming every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Every Wednesday, we break a world record, and we're gonna have some official Guinness World Records coming up soon uh, from this shoot that we're doing tomorrow in New York. So, wish me luck, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Yeah. Look, nice. we, we made a lifeguard chair for a rat. <laughs>